Today I want to talk about something that is embarrassing for me to admit. It is hard for me to say this because I'm going to open up about what I would say is one of my biggest flaws as a person, and that is jealousy. And I'm hoping that in doing so, one of you can relate to this. If it's jealousy that you deal with, that'll be directly relatable. But whatever it is, it could be any character trait. I think that the first step in improving upon it if it's a negative thing, is admitting that you have a problem. And obviously this applies to many things, drug addiction, health concerns, whatever it may be. Obviously you have to identify what it is that you need to improve upon. And for me, for a long time, I've struggled with this. I am a very envious, jealous person. And those are all negative things. They rob you of happiness. They are not something that a lot of people wanna be around. And honestly, it sucks. <laughs> and in today's video, I want to talk about this in two ways. I want to say how it's affected me and how I think I came to be this way. So let me start with the first one. I'm just going to use a quick example for this part. Something good happens to one of my friends. And obviously, my initial response immediately is to be happy for them. I want to see people do good. It doesn't matter if they're my friends, family, complete strangers. It's better to see people doing better. You want people to have a good time on this earth, and I genuinely desire that. I want the best for everyone. And that would be the angel on my shoulder. But I do have a dark side, and that is jealousy. I have this weird sting that occurs, and I think it's because I realize a lot of times they're doing better than me. And there's a saying that goes something like this, People want you to do good as long as you're not doing better than them. <laughs> and I am the embodiment of that. At least I have been the embodiment of that. And I'm hoping to kick that because it robs you of a certain level of happiness. It's weird because obviously I'm happy. That's the initial response. But then when the jealousy comes in, it takes that away. I can't be happy for people fully. And I look at people who are this way, who you can just tell, you can feel it. They're glowing when they see someone else glowing. And this is obviously like an empath situation and I am very empathetic, but I do have a negative side and I wanna admit that in today's video. And I was thinking about how I came to be this way and I actually talked to my parents about this a long time ago because I went through a stage in my life where essentially I realized that I have a lot of stuff to work on. I became self-aware and this was probably five years ago when all this first hit me that I'm not a perfect person. And my parents said, okay, we got a story for you. You were two years old. Your sister was just born. And my dad was obviously with me and we were in the hospital in the little gift shop area. And he said, hey, Preston, I want you to pick out a toy for your baby sister. And I was really excited. I had no idea what this meant. A baby sister? There's another person in the family? And my dad was saying that I was really excited. I go pick out a toy and it was a toy that I loved. And I think my young brain was just doing what it does naturally, just drawing itself to whatever was attractive to me. So I picked out a toy, became connected to it. And then my dad led me into the room where my mom and sister were. And then he said, Preston, I want you to give that toy to your baby sister. Give her a gift. And I gave her the toy and then immediately realized <laughs> that the toy wasn't for me and apparently I just threw a tantrum and my dad and mom both think that this is where the seed of jealousy was planted in my life and I'm not sure if that's true or not it sounds true anecdotally speaking but from that moment on I think I had oldest sibling syndrome which if you guys are oldest siblings you probably feel this way that you're the first one in the family to go through childhood or whatever, at least if you have a sibling. And for that reason, you want to do the best you can. And I'm imagining, I don't have experience with this, but if you're a younger sibling, it's a little bit different. Rather than being the first to do something, you are replicating what your older sibling, brother, sister, whatever it may be, is doing. And for that reason, you might not have a competitive nature to you, but rather kind of like a big brother phenomenon where you just want to do the best you can because he's doing good or she's doing good, whatever it is. For me though, as an older sibling, I always felt this competition with my sister. 
And that's not something I'm proud to admit. I'm honestly just kind of embarrassed to be talking about all of this. But it's something I know I have to change. And I'm hoping that in today's video, what you can gather from this is that I'm over here admitting to my flaws with good intentions. I really want to improve upon these things. And they're really hard to admit that I have. All right, so my camera battery just died <laughs> midway through that. But what I was saying is, yeah, I'm a flawed person. I don't have it all figured out. I have things that I need to work on. And I'm hoping that I can do exactly that. And someday maybe I can look back on my life and say, you know what? You were dealt a lot of things, good and bad, but you made the most of it. You did what you could. And if I can say that at the end of my life, I think I'll be happy because that's the best that we can all do as humans. Just do what we can to improve and help other people along the way. And I'm hoping that this video helped at least one of you. At the very least, like I said, maybe this was relatable. Maybe this is motivational. I don't know. But either way, <laughs> something I wanted to talk about today. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.